Jonah ran from God. He disobeyed God, and he ended up spending three days in the belly of a giant fish. Imagine having fish guts and things all over your body for three days. Can you think of anything more gross and disgusting than that? I'm sure Jonah never forgot that experience, and I'm sure that smell lingered with him for a long, long time. Anytime Jonah smelled fish from that day on, he remembered being in the belly of a fish. He remembered the lesson that God taught him. God gives us second chances. Jonah didn't stay in the belly of the fish forever. The fish spat him out on dry land, and God gave Jonah a second chance. God loves all of us, and He's willing to give anyone a second chance. Who asks? Whatever mistakes you have made, whatever sins you have committed, God will hear your prayer for forgiveness, and He will give you a second chance. You know, it's ironic that Jonah was given a second chance after God asked Jonah to tell the Ninevites. That God was willing to give them a second chance. If Nineveh turned back to God, He would not destroy them. He would forgive them instead. Jonah knew this to be true. So when he preached to the Ninevites, he wasn't speaking empty words. He knew God's promise was real because God had given him a second chance. A lot of times we may feel like we don't deserve a second chance. It's easy to think God can never forgive me. God never tires of giving a second chance. Read through the Old Testament, and you'll see God was constantly giving people second chances. He forgave Abraham for lying. Then, when Abraham lied again, God forgave him again. God forgave the people of Israel, the Israelites, His people, over and over and over again. Even His own disciples experienced God's amazing forgiveness. Peter denied knowing Jesus three times. Jesus forgave him three times. The smell of rotting fish can linger for a long time, but as unforgettable as the stinky fish dinner can be, I hope this week's message will be even more memorable. I hope you'll remember God gave Jonah a second chance. So I want you to remember in the days to come, when you feel like you don't deserve another chance, you'll remember God's amazing love. No matter what you do, no matter how bad you feel, God loves you. He's always willing to give you another chance. All right, let's close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for always being willing to give us another chance, even when we make mistakes over and over and over again. In Jesus' name, Amen.